Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So here in this lecture we will be discussing about HTML canvas tag. This tag is very important for our examination point of view and students in HTML lecture series this is our lecture number 24 and if you forgot to watch some previous lectures you can check the description box I have added link there. So, canvas tag is very important for, ex for your examination point of view and this tag is very simple to use. So, in this video, we will start with basic introduction part and after that, we will move to the practical section. So, as you can see here, a canvas is a rectangle-like area on an HTML page and it's specified with canvas element. By default, canvas element has no border and no content. It is like a container only. So, in your web page, if you want to use a rectangle-like area, you can use a canvas tag. And by default, as you can see here, canvas element does not have any border or content. So, if you want to uh, change the thickness of border, if you want to change the color of this border of your rectangle, you can use some other attributes along with this canvas tag. Without their attributes, canvas tag is nothing but it is just like a simple container that is used to capture the space for its ID. The HTML uh, canvas element provides HTML a bitmap surface to work with and it is used to draw graphics on the web page. This is very important statement that if you want to draw the graphics on your web page, you can use canvas element. Right? It is very simple to use. Uh, when we move to the practical section, I will tell you everything about it. Okay, The HTML5 canvas tag is used to draw graphics using scripting language like JavaScript. In examination, you can ask that ja ki canvas tag is used to what type of graphics? So, you can say that it is used to draw some scripting language graphics like JavaScript. And also, canvas tag is used to draw 2D images it does not work for 3d images for example if you want to draw a rectangle like this if you want a rectangle like this in three dimensions you you cannot use canvas element you can create this type of rectangle by using this canvas element right it is a low level procedural model that updates a bitmap and does not have a built-in scene and there are several methods in canvas to draw paths boxes circles text and add images so in this particular video we'll discuss how to create a rectangle by using canvas tag now moving to the example section so as you can see here i have written canvas id I have written two examples here. In first example, canvas tag I have started and I have closed this tag. And here canvas id is equals to my canvas. Width is equals to 200 and height is equals to 100. So, uh, so you can see here I have given height and width to the rectangle. That is 200 width and height is 200. You can change it according to your need. Right. So id here is very important. You can write anything. Here in, this uh, here in this example, I have written my canvas. You can write my example. You can write uh, uh, my canvas example. You can write anything here. So let's move to the practical section first. So I have written HTML basic structure. Now let's move to the example. So what we need to do is we need to write the canvas and we need to close this canvas section. Save. And when we run this, you can see you cannot see anything on the screen why because as i have told you in this section that by default canvas element has no border and no content we always need to use its ids we always need to use its attributes okay so when we write it here as id is equals to let's say my canvas then Height is equals to 300. Width is equals to 400. Save and refresh. 
again we are not able to see anything why because we did not added here the border size the border color by default canvas tag just capture the space for its uh, uh, ids its surfaces okay we always need to use tiles we always need to uh, add some border properties here like in example number 2 you can see style is equals to body 2 pixel solid okay so i am going to use it here style is equals to inverted commas may you will write border colon and solid then inverted commas save and refresh now you can see the rectangle here now so many students will think this is not rectangle this is square but i will tell you uh, i am i have given height and width same okay so if i change it to 100 now you can see the results okay now you can see the results here let's say 100 height save and refresh so you can create rectangle you can create squares by using this canvas tag if i change border from 2 pixel this is 2 pixels if i change it to 7 pixels save and refresh so you can see this is how actually canvas uh, tag works on html5 here uh, let me just copy this complete section so that i will tell you the difference copy and paste save and refresh okay so here i am using br tag save and then refresh okay now let me just change the properties of uh, second one solid ko i will change to dotted save and refresh i can change the color also red save save and refresh this is how you can use canvas tag okay so i hope everything is clear for you now let's just do some experiments with this tag as i i have told you so many times that with html tags you can create so many things you can create so many experiments right so hi this is my post can